Hi, I'm Annette Freetag of Northwest Web Solutions, and I offer digital marketing, advertising, media, and consulting for small and medium businesses. And today I'm here to chat with you a little bit about Google My Business and local search engine optimization. <music> first thing that you want to do when you're considering your local search engine optimization is you probably want to look at your Google My Business profile. This comes up uh, when someone Googles your business. It's that uh, panel that shows up on the right hand side if you're on a desktop or if you're on a mobile phone, it's gonna be the section that shows up on the top. And it's the part that says the name of your business, the phone number of your business, your address, your hours, all those important things that shoppers that wanna buy from you right now need to know. So the first thing that you wanna do is have a business email so that you can keep everything separate, that you can keep your, your personal life and your, your kids' soccer schedule separate from everything in your business. And once you have that, you can register a free one. So if you wanted to do, I have Northwest Web Solutions at Gmail. You can do that. And once you have that email, you want to claim your business. And the way that you do that is really simply being signed in to your email and going into the search bar and search for your business. And pretty much most businesses are gonna pop up unless you're brand new. And when it pops up, there's gonna be a little link that says claim this business. And you can just click on that and it's gonna ask you to verify a few things and it might call your business and give you a little four digit code or it's going to ask to send you a postcard. Um, if you are a home-based business like I am, you do want to put in your address, not a PO box, an actual physical address, and they'll mail it to you. That address doesn't need to be visible and doesn't have to be visible to customers and the public and the world. You can choose to make that hidden later if you don't have a brick and mortar business. But you do need to get that postcard from Google and it, it's just gonna come, uh, you tear it open like one of those uh, direct mail things and it's gonna have a super secret code inside. Um, that you again log into your email, make sure you're in, you put in your verification number, and then you are verified business. And once you're verified, that is how you can change the phone number to your business, change the hours of your business, um, add services and offerings and all kinds of, of, of fun information. Um, most of my clients and really uh, across the internet, local search engine uh, optimization is typically sending the best traffic to your website and to your business. These are people who are looking to buy right now. They're low funnel shoppers who have already decided that they want to buy it and they know where they want to buy it and they're just trying to figure out when and how basically. Um, so the different things that you can do once you have access to your Google My Business listing is that you can post a number of things. And the more content you put in the Google My Business, the better your ratings are going to be. So if someone is searching for pest control and that's what your business is, if you have offers, like you're offering free inspections or you have services that you say that you're doing ants and you're also doing spiders and mice and rats and multiple things, if you're adding all of those things, that's going to become a really helpful when someone's specifically looking for a uh, mice exterminator near me. That's what helps get you higher in the search results, especially um, for local. Uh, you can also include events. If you're having a customer appreciation event, if you're having a fundraiser for another uh, community member, 
if you're um, collecting you know canned food any of those things if you're having a uh, business anniversary celebration and you know new customers get 10% off all of those things um, you can put in Google my business um, the other thing is getting reviews and asking your clients that are the people who come to you all the time, uh, getting them to give you reviews. Uh, that's really, really important. Another thing that I also encourage a lot of businesses to do is review the businesses you do business with, with your business email. So for instance, uh, Gresham Ford. Gresham Ford has reviewed a lot of local area businesses, especially the ones that we go to during uh, tri-local events. Um, we've reviewed the local cow, we've reviewed uh, Bocelli's, and eye candy, uh, we're very food centric. Um, but review all the local businesses that you go to and show that you're engaged in the community and that's also going to increase the um, visibility of your business across Google. So once you've claimed your Google business listing and you've added lots of content about your staff and your offerings and your services and you've linked all of that back to your website, the third thing is that you kind of sit back and you can actually view the insights. Google will proactively send you an email once a month and tell you how many people saw your post welcoming the newest member of your staff? How many people saw your offer where you were giving 15% off to new customers and clients who came into your business? Uh, they'll tell you how many people searched for you on maps, how many people called you. You can even turn on um, the call recording and it'll show you the phone numbers that called your business and tell you if you answered or not. So all of that information is in Google My Business and it can really help you make data-driven solutions and data-driven decisions for your business that really help you to be successful today and into the future. So if you have more questions about Google My Business and how to increase your local SEO, a great place to look for a resource is our local small business development center here um, connected with Mount Hood Community College. That's a great place or any of the marketing experts uh, that are members of the Gresham Area Chamber of Commerce would all be very happy to help you succeed.